Here's how I got this hot tub for free and how I fixed it. And these uh, type of uh, hot tubs can be worth over $10,000, but after I was able to get it going, it actually cost me um, zero dollars to fix it. So I'll show you how I got it. I first found it on Facebook, it looked really nice. And the owner said that he tried to replace lots of things. And so I thought, why not get it? But now this hot tub was uh, it's like a seventh seater. It's really extremely heavy. I had to use a hay wagon and some tractor, luckily. I grew up on a farm, so my dad had the equipment. I got uh, my uncle and my brothers, and we were able to get it into place. And then um, I was able to get it to, to work. So the issue that it was having was it wasn't heating. And the owner said he swapped out lots of parts, but still no luck. And I fix electronics for, um, so I thought, why not? And it was flashing this error code, and he had this brand new um, circuit board. And so the very first thing I thought, it's not heating, let's check out the uh, heater element. So I was measuring 240 volts, that was okay. And I could hear the relays turning on and off. I tried to do something that I shouldn't have, I connected my heating element right to 250 volts there and it broke my heating element and so I don't recommend that. But you can test to see if your heating element is the issue by doing a resistance um, uh, between the two poles and if it's broken you can see it's measuring in the mega ohms and I bought a replacement one because I broke the other element and this one is measuring about 14 ohms. So you should, you know, measure about like 10 to 20 ohms, something like that. So I have this other circuit board to give you a kind of overview of uh, what that flashing light's meaning. So it could be a heating element issue, but uh, in my case, the, the heating, I have that, that's not the problem. And there's also this pressure sensor and you should be measuring continuity between these two pins when there's water flowing through it. Um, so it could be a high, your high pressure sensor, and, but the previous owner really replaced this with all brand new parts. And it's, there's also a heating element uh, that determines if the water's too hot, and that could be also an issue with that. And so the the previous guy he replaced the heating element, the pressure sensor, and also the temperature sensor. And so it probably is something with the circuit board and I kind of figured that that would be the issue. So on my version, I had to remove all the wiring. It's actually quite straightforward. You have some white wires, some black wires, and then some green wires, basically neutral plot, uh, line one and line two. And you want to find these relay volt uh, relays right here. Mine are 30 amp relays and they're activated by 24 volts because usually that's the issue is either you could have a bad relay or something. So I flipped this one over and you can, um, I actually found there's actually two pins that connect when there is positive 24 volts between the two smaller pins right here. And um, then you want to test to make sure that you're getting continuity. Um, there's also this, each relay will have a, f a flywheel uh, diode and you can know, uh, you want to do the reverse polarity of this flywheel diode uh, to when you put the 24 volts. So I actually noticed that on one of my relays, it actually burnt right through the um, solder right there, sort of through the via. And so that's the reason why this hot tub wasn't working. Basically, I could hear it clicking on, it was heating for a bit and then and it went, uh, it gave that error code is because uh, so much current was going through it previously that it had a bad connection. And so just with a little bit of solder, I was able to fix this hot tub, uh, essentially saving $10,000. I have a brand new hot tub now. I also soldered up a couple other joints just in case. But um, it took a while to troubleshoot this and figure that out. But uh, after I did that, it worked. So here's a, basically a schematic of your relays. You have uh, four pins. You It's basically a switch from the top there. And then on the bottom, you have this little coil. And so I kind of, this one has like six or so. And so you can uh, put the, uh, activate the 24 volts and you should hear a click. Just like that. A clicking is um, indicating that it's probably good. But again, it could be a bad solder joint like how I showed you. Um, 
in using your probes in pro, uh, continuity mode, you can also, when it activates, you should hear a beeping uh, between those two bigger contacts. And um, then that means that it's working. So you could just uh, swap relays too, because you have like, my tub has four different motors. So you could just like swap it and maybe not have a, a motor working and get your heating element working. Um, so there's many options. And so that's why I kind of picked this up because I knew that you could actually play around with electronics and, and uh, swap parts and things like that. Now, the way that this one's working, you have three relays and it's each one is doing 120 volts basically. And then um, it has a high limit switch for the heat, heating sensor. And then it basically puts 250 volts to 240 volts basically to the heating element and then that's activating so one of the the, the relays was um, given the issue is because that solder um, problem but uh, uh, depending on your different case um, you can have some other issues but basically troubleshoot those relays will be most often the issue if you have already replaced your sensors and you know that those things are functioning so after I did that, I just popped it back into the case. Mine's a gecko um, uh, control board here. And then I could hear it clicking on and I let it heat up. And you can see right here, I got it going up to 33 volt, uh, sorry, 33 uh, degrees. And you can see that it's actually heating and it's not flashing that arrow code anymore. So thanks for watching. I hope this will help you with your hot tub. And um, it's nice to fix things that are thrown away. So I'll see you guys in the next one.